Ephesians chapter 1 verses 17 to 23 May God's power work in you, the power that raised Christ from the dead, seated him at God's right hand, and places all things under his feet, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation, resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. What are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones? And what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe, in accord with the exercise of his great might? which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead and seating him at his right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. St. Paul wrote the letter to the Ephesians in an effort to encourage them and to explain the nature and purpose of the church, also known as the body of Christ. Most would date the letter around 60 AD, about 30 years after the death and resurrection of Christ. St. Paul wrote the letter while he was imprisoned in Rome, where he would ultimately be taken outside the gates of the city and beheaded. Note that Paul was awaiting a death sentence, but he still found time to encourage others while overlooking his problem. Christ is our model of faith, and the more we know about him, the stronger we become in the faith, and we begin to change our lives in an effort to copy his behavior. This was the object of Paul's prayer, that the Ephesians would come to know Christ and become stronger by living in God's word. We are the body of Christ, but Christ is the head of the body. A reading from the book of Revelation shows the final victory and control of everything belongs to God. Christ has and will continue to fill the church with blessings and grace. The image of the body shows the necessity for the unity of the church.